I'm guilty. I'm guilty not for the crime I was convicted of, but for the crime I committed towards my own mother and the time I had on this earth. Now, let's start from the beginning. يلا عواب قوم صلي الفجر Don't force too much. Leave some for tomorrow. And make sure you drink your milk. Um, Mom, can I have some money? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have any money right now, but I promise I'll save some and give you next week. What's up, Awad? What's up, Zayn? What's the matter? You look tired. I just had a really bad morning. You want to go to school or not? I don't even feel like going to school today. Then don't go. I've done it many times when I'm angry. You hungry? I didn't have a full bowl of cereal today. I know a place. Let's just hide our backpacks behind that bush right there, okay? Let's go. Alright. Awad, you take the snicker balls. I'll take the skittles. I don't feel like doing this for really. uh, no. Shut up, you're talking too loud. Just take it and run. You're being a punk. Alright, it's gonna be fun. Just keep going. We're almost there. I thought I raised you better. You're gonna put these back and you're gonna apologize to the clerk. Let's go. After that, my mother became way more strict with me. She would not let me out of her sight at any given time. She always tried to install into me the values of a true Muslim, but as I grew older, she kind of lost her grasp over me. I, I was becoming more rebellious to her. And worse than that, I was falling way out of line. Hey bro, you alright? Yeah, dude, I'm fine. Bro, you know we only get one shot at this, right? If we fail, we either get killed by any of those boys, or we're going to jail for life. Yeah, dude, I'm fine. Why do you keep asking me all these questions like I don't know what I'm doing? Man, just come on, let's go. It was a dumb bet. A dumb bet that we lost. Hey, do remember, nobody's getting hurt. We only got this to scare them. We're not using it to kill anybody. All right, bro, whatever, let's go. Oh my God. For 13 consecutive years, my mother wrote to me. Every two months, I'd get a letter from her. But the thing is, I refused her visits. I was angry at her. She called the cops on us. How could she even do that to me? Anyways, I went through that gas station scene in my head over and over again, every night in jail. I told myself for 13 years, I didn't kill this man. I didn't kill the man. But after 13 years, 
She had given up on me. No more visits. No more calls. It took her 13 years to give up on me. So when those letters stopped coming in, I read the old ones that she sent me over and over again. I remember the first letter she sent me. She started the letter with uh, Surah Al-Asr. It said, Wal Asr, Inna al-insana lafi khusr, Illa al-ladhina amunu amilu salihat, wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr. And she recited other surahs in the other letters. I could have called her. I could have. But when you've ignored someone's love for that many years, you can't really face them. You can't talk to them. Anyways, I was released after, thir after 18 years in prison. Let out on good behavior. They finally found out I wasn't the one that pulled the trigger. So I was released, but Hussein, Hussein was still locked up. Hello? Assalamu alaikum khadam. Yeah, yeah, it's me, Awab. Yeah, I just got out of prison. Yeah, but on good behavior. Hi, right, listen, I have a question. Do you know where my mom is, Fadila, by any chance? My name is Awab, and I lost the race against time.